Hey y'all, happy Sunday, you're tuned into the Me and Miss Jones show, I'm your host, Dr. Miss Jones, well I hope that you've been having a great week and a great weekend, I know that I have been, so last Sunday I covered the Joe Biden Lifetime Achievement Awards in Connecticut. Shout out to all the people that got the awards, especially former Mayor Andre Rainey, Dr. Penny Tate, Dr. Miss Moe, and King Jeffrey Wyabare. Shout out to friend to the show, Apostle Dr. Dornette McIntosh, who always puts on a great event. I covered the story for the Hudson Valley Press newspaper, so make sure that you check it out, HudsonValleyPress.com. And of course, shout out to my people that came out with me, moms, Tiff, L. No, I see y'all in the clubhouse. Hey, y'all. <laughs> and my little nephews came and hung out as well, Tristan and Toriano. Well, y'all, we got a great show today. We have a lot of special guests that are going to be coming on. We have Elder Robin Mann that's going to be giving the words of inspiration. I already see her in the clubhouse as well. Hey. We also have gospel recording artist MC Heaven. She's going to be coming on sharing some of her new music. We have comedian Sherwin XL. He's going to bring the funny. That's right. He's going to share his journey. And he's going to help me spill some tea. You know, we spill some holy tea around here. It's boiling hot, too. So get your teacups ready. And we have author and playwright Yolanda Brathwaite. She's going to be coming on with the cast and crew of Tales of a Grown Girl. I already see David in the clubhouse. Hey! So we're going to have a good time today. Well, y'all know how we like to do it here. We call our lineup Sunday Best because we always, you know, have the best DJs on Sunday. <laughs> so I always like to start the show off with some music from some of the BET Sunday Best Winners, Judges, and Hosts. So I started it all off with some music from Crystal Aiken and the Mississippi Mass Choir. It was called When Jesus Says Yes. Next up is Travis Green featuring one of the winners from Sunday Best, Lee Andrea Johnson, another singing sister. The song is called Wonder. Don't go anywhere, y'all. Keep it locked right here. Both hours right here on the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Dr. Miss Jones. All right. I've been through hurt. I've been through pain. Wish I had time so I could explain how. God's been good <laughs> Oh, he made a way Yeah, every time I was in trouble Somehow he won the battle Now I know hey, It was nobody Now I know Hey, it was nobody but you When my 
Y'all know what time it is. It's birthday time. That's right. This is the part of the show where I like to give a shout out to all the people that are having birthdays this week. If you're in the clubhouse and it is your birthday this week or you know somebody that's having a birthday this week, go ahead and put it in the chat. Well, today is the birthday of actress Viola Davis. She is turning 59. Then tomorrow is the birthday of rapper Sir Mix-A-Lot. He's turning 61. He shares his birthday with reality star Malaysia Pargo from Basketball Wives. She's turning 44. Then on Tuesday, it's the birthday of basketball player DeMarcus Cousins. He's turning 34. On Wednesday, it's the birthday of actress Halle Berry. She's turning 58. Girl, you make 58 look good. She shares her birthday with former basketball player and mogul Magic Johnson. He is turning 65. It's also the birthday of reality star and Ray J's wife. I don't know if his wife or ex-wife. Princess Love. She's turning a big 4-0. And it's also the birthday of actress Jack A. Harry. She's turning 68. Y'all remember her from Sisters and 227. No, not Sister. Sister, Sister. <laughs> then on Thursday, it's the birthday of actor and TV host Anthony Anderson. He's turning 54. On Friday, it's the birthday of singer Madonna. She's turning 66. She shares her birthday with rapper Young Thug, who's turning 33. I do hope he's having a good birthday. He's going through a lot right now. And it's also the birthday of actress Angela Bassett, who's also turning 66. Rounding out the week on Saturday, it is the birthday of actress Tammy Townsend. She is turning 54. All right, let's go to the clubhouse. Let's see. We don't have any birthdays in the clubhouse. So I want to say happy birthday to all of those celebrities and anyone else that's having a birthday out there. Get on out. Have some fun. Don't sit at home looking at the four walls unless you got somebody to sit and look at those four walls with you. Well, you know how we like to do it here. We don't want to just sing to you. We want you to get on up and dance on this one. It's called the birthday dance. And keep it locked right here to the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Dr. Miss Jones. Shoot you, 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 you,
Welcome back. You're listening to the Me and Miss Jones Show. I'm your host, Dr. Miss Jones. Well, it is time to bring the word of God. So if you are in the clubhouse and you have prayer requests, go ahead and put it in the chat so that the woman of God can pray for you today. So I want to go ahead and introduce my first guest. She is an elder at New Day Tabernacle Church in Plattic Hill, New York. I want y'all to show a lot of love to Elder Robin Mann. Hey, how are you? All is well. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate the invite. Of course. So I always like to tell everybody where I meet my guests. So I met you actually quite a few years ago. You came up to the hospital. My mom was in the hospital and you and your husband came up. Shout out to Deacon Twain. <laughs> Y'all yes. came up and prayed for my mom. So we've been connected ever since. Yes. 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 So I want to say I appreciate you all for that. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Amen. So you have been under the tutelage of friend to the show, Apostle Christopher J. Hodge, for over 23 years. That's a long time to be connected to someone. Woo! Yes, I'm over 21. <laughs> wow, that is so awesome. So were you one of the first members of the church up here? Actually, I was. My husband and I moved up to the Hudson Valley and the church began as a Bible study. And so we were there at the inception of the ministry. That is awesome. So speaking of your husband, y'all have been married for 30 years. Yes, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. People don't make it 30 years these days. <laughs> what is the secret? You might have to write a book. You yeah, might listen. have to write a book on it. <laughs> you see, I'm going to start right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is the secret? Yeah. What What can you give us as a nugget to help the young people? folks out the young of uh, the newlyweds <laughs> right i think you have to be friends you have to like each other you know mm. of course you have to be in love but you gotta like each other you gotta have a friendship you know and i think that's the essence the basis for it you know you gotta keep it keep the honey in the moon as my bishop would say mm. keep dating keep you know traveling together keep establishing things together keep living life together I just think it's that's that's part of it you know of course god is the center absolutely amen can't do it without god mm -hmm. amen i mean you said yeah. a key thing you gotta like each other <laughs> yes ma'am you it's can't hard be, to do it if you don't like each other okay he's so fine he's so fine <laughs> you better like that person he better be treating better. you right <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> I like that. Thank you so much for sharing that. So when did you start ministering? When did you become an well, elder? Well, I became, became an elder um, about two years ago. But ministry for me started way back, way, way back when I was li still living in Queens at my former church. Uh, but yeah, just recently became an elder. Okay. Amen. Well, praise God. So um, I created this segment, Words of Inspiration, because a lot of people haven't made it back into the church building. You know, it's, since the pandemic, they have gotten comfortable watching the ministry on TV, listening to it on the radio, watching it on YouTube. Or some people are legitimately afraid. They still wear their masks. They still, you know, only go and do the necessities, go to work. You know, go to the grocery store, come home. So they're afraid to go back into the church building. So I always try to make sure that people get some word for the week. So what has right. God put in your spirit to share with the people for the week so that they have something to munch on? Well, I, as I was in prayer, I, you know, the Lord dropped on me Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, which says, Being confident of this very thing. He that hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And that really blessed my spirit again uh, because God has, once you have established a relationship with the Lord, then there's work to be done. And in spite of the fact that we are past the pandemic, it is obvious, even with the climate of the world in which we live, that we need to get back 
to where the Lord first brought us. Mm. Our first love. That's ministry. That's ministry. And ministry looks different for everybody. But we have to remember that there is work to be done in the vineyard. And it, it's true. We are going through some things. People are grieving. People have issues with your family, your job, and all that. But God has established us for such a time as this. And our ultimate goal is to win souls for the kingdom. So we need to get back in the building. We need to get back in fellowship with the Lord. And we just need to get back to what God called us to do. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So whatever that is. Whatever that mm -hmm. is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for that. Sure. So, so I want you to pray. I do have some prayer requests. Let me look in the chat, see if anybody has any prayer requests in the clubhouse. No, nope, nobody has any prayer requests. Okay. Oh. So I do have some prayer requests though. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. So I want you to pray for my mom. She was in the hospital a few weeks ago. So I want you to pray, of course, for a full recovery. I want you to sure. pray for comedian, actress, and model Erica Ash. She passed away recently. She was only 46 years old. She had a battle with cancer. So, of course, we want to pray that she knew Jesus and, you know, pray for her family. And rapper Chino XL passed away recently. He was only 50 years old. So, of course, we want to pray the same prayer for him that he knew Jesus and pray for the comfort of his family. I want you to pray for the show, the Me and Miss Jones show, and the listeners, and anything else that God has put on your heart to pray about. Sure. Okay. Are we going to pray yeah. right now? Go ahead, yeah. Mm -hmm. you Amen. Okay. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we, we bless you, and we thank you, oh God, for this day that you've given to us. Thank you for a new day with brand new mercies, oh God. Yes. We thank you, oh Lord, for all that you've done, all that has been said, oh God, on, even on this show. We thank you for Dr. Jones this morning. Yes. We thank you, oh God, for even this very platform. And today we bring forth mom. We thank you for mom on today. Yes. We ask your blessings to be upon her, oh God, even as she has had about in the hospital. But we say thank you, oh God, because you have brought her through and are bringing her through. We pray for total healing. Yes. We thank you, oh God, for her life, yes. her health, her strength, oh God. Touch it from the crown of her head to the soles of her very feet, oh God. We yes. thank you, oh God, for her testimony as she travels alongside Dr. Jones, as she's a, an encouragement and she's a support. I pray that you strengthen her on every side, oh God. We thank you, oh God, because we know the charge that you have given to mothers, oh God. We, oh God, care for our children and we want to be in full, full activity so we don't have any hindrances. So Father, we say thank you even now. The victory is already won. Yes. Hallelujah, God. You are a great physician. We pray for those uh, who have gone on. Erica Ash, Chino. Oh, God, we pray for those who have gone on, who have left here due to sickness, oh, God. We pray for their families, oh, God. Somebody yes. is, is grieving the loss of a loved one on today. We yes. pray for their families, oh, God. We even pray for the influence that they had yes. in the industry, oh, God. We thank you, oh, God, and we see, oh, God, that they were loved. Yes. But, Father, they have gone on, and we just pray, oh, God, that you would continue. Hallelujah, which you have started even within their families, within their friends, oh, God. And we pray, oh God, that their life will continue to be an example, oh God. We pray that their life will continue uh, uh, to influence others to be happy, to serve you, oh God. We just ask you, oh God, even in the climate in which we're living, some of us are uh, are, are um, preoccupied with so many things. It could be depression, it could be oppression, it just it could be a broken broken relationship, it could be a, a, a loss of a job. Uh, we pray, oh God, for the strength of your people on today. We thank you, oh God, yes. that you are forever available to us, oh God. You don't sleep, nor do you slumber, oh God. You're available to us, oh God. So we yes. pray that we go back to prayer, that even though, uh, you know, we could seek your face, oh God, and pray to you, you already know about it. But the victory is already won, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we would not seek ungodly counsel, but that we would take our and cast our cares upon you because your word says because you care. So thank you, oh God, for everything, even in the uh, climate, the political climate, even in our local uh, uh, assemblies, oh God, that we would continue to draw strength and pray, oh God, and pray. That is our weapon. You said to pray without ceasing. Father, we love you on today, yes, and God. we thank you for what you are already doing. And so we will do our part, oh God, because you would never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you once again for Dr. Jones, Miss, the me and Miss 
Dr. Jones show. Thank you again for the platform. Thank and you, I thank you for even her very platform that you've given to her that she can fly across the airways yes. and the highways and the byways, oh God, that she can touch lives even with her smile, oh God. Thank you for every encouraging word. Every show will continue to advance, oh God, as she puts her hands in your hands. Father, we love yes. you today. We honor you today. And we give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for that anointed prayer. Amen. Let's go ahead and go to the clubhouse. See if anybody wants to say anything to you. Remember, if you're in the clubhouse and you have a mic, please stay muted unless you are speaking. So if you want to say anything to Elder Robin Mann today, Go ahead and flash your mic if you're in the clubhouse, you want to say anything, you have questions, you want to say anything about the sermon, go ahead and flash your mic. All right, I see Bishop, Bishop Kearney flashed his mic. Hey, Bishop. Praise and peace to you all. Praise the Lord. How are you? I'm blessed. I am blessed. Elder, I want to say uh, what a great job you're doing. Um I might have came in late, but I pretty I can guarantee that you are a woman of God. I can hear the anointing in your voice. Uh, I pray that God continues to bless you, carry you, and move forth in your life. May He continue to expand your territory, and may He continue to elevate you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much, Bishop Kearney. Amen. All right. Thank you, Bishop Kearney. Well, thank you so much for coming on today, Elder Robin, man. I really appreciate you. Give everybody my love. Sure <laughs> will. Yes, sure will. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. Have a blessed and wonderful day. All Bye. right. You too. Thank All you. Right. God, God bless. bless. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get back into some more great music. Next up is the song New Day. I know uh, Elder Robin Van goes to New Day Tabernacle, but this song is called New Day. It's the remix, and it is by Blanca featuring J Kaylin Carr. Don't go anywhere, y'all. We got more great show coming up right here on the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Dr. Miss Jones.
to bring on my musical guests she is a gospel recording artist and songwriter i want y'all to welcome mc heaven hey hi (laughs) how are you (laughs) happy sunday happy sunday how you doing today yes i am well i am well i agree with that prayer it was very awesome and glad to be here Amen. That was anointed prayer. But thank yes. you so much for coming on. I appreciate you coming. Oh, thank you for having me. Of course. So I always like to tell everybody where I meet my guests. So we just okay. met recently, a few weeks ago. You were on my TV show, the Me and Miss Jones TV show. You came on with the cast and crew of Tales of a Grown Girl stage play. And you had so much yes. energy and just love and uh, such a such a beautiful spirit. I was like, okay. You know, we got to have you on. I found out a sister can (laughs) sing and rap and all that stuff. (laughs) Thank you. I so appreciate that. Yes. So your name is MC Heaven. So is your first name Heaven? Actually, my real name is Sharia Perry. I received heaven when I was um, searching for God and tried to be an earth and I was princess heavenly earth. And after I couldn't eat no Oreos and and chips, (laughs) I loved that. I kept the heaven. Everybody always just called me heaven from a teenager actually too. Girl, I don't know nut. What you talking about with some Oreos and chips? What is that about? I don't even know what an earth is. Well, what you is know, earth? you know the no pork and, and and you know I don't really incorporate it still now. But back then it was like, oh, you can't eat pork. So that was a whole phase. Oh, oh, you was like, I like bacon. I like ham. Okay. <laughs> okay. My mama from okay. the south. <laughs> yeah, they know it was so good back then. But yeah, that's how I got the name Heavenly Princess Heavenly Earth, and then I dropped the um. You know, we all we all are princesses and queens. I just went by heaven, okay. and everyone called me heaven, and I kept that when I started rapping. Just okay. added the MC. Okay, got it, got it. And what made you put a Y in there? H E A V Y N. Oh, distinctive that heaven is a place. We know that's the realm of God. So you know, I never qualify myself as that or above. So I said, let me put a Y. Oh. You know, and just make it distinct distinctively different got know. it got it yeah okay so yes let's talk a little bit about your musical journey so when did you start you know being an artist when did you start singing and rapping and all that good stuff um i did that all through since a little girl i always wanted to do that a dream i've had i did it through a young girl teenage high school so talent awesome. shows community and i got really serious into gospel recording in 2010 so a song called New Life was my first song after I heard Salt on Kirk Franklin's Stomp. Yeah. And I was in the kitchen. I said, you know what? I could talk about my life because I didn't make it mainstream. Like I was many avenues and many doors that I was able to go through, but didn't. I, I believe God was preventing me from doing like mainstream, mm-hmm. secular, so I can come and just talk about his hope and goodness and how he transformed my life through the testimonies of my song. Okay, got it. So you won the McDonald's Gospel Fest three times. Semi-finalist. I stood on the stage against five, six other gospel rappers who were mainly men. It was on maybe two females. So I made it to that ring three times, semi-finalist. And it was actually the fourth time. I did it three times before I got in. So McDonald's Gospel Fest, shout out to them, um, Mr. Curtis Favreau. They gave me a platform learning how to be out, perform on Potential Arena, Newark Symphony Hall. You know, they learned, they taught me how not to come and talk three minutes before a song, just get into it. So that was an awesome experience. Okay. Now you also have collaborated with Curtis Blow. Shout out and happy birthday to the legendary Curtis Blow. Yes. 
Yes, we have a song called The King Is Near, who is from gospel artist Gospel Gabe, who is a friend of mine. He gave me a track and he's been asking for a long time. We did things. He said, Sharia, do you want to do this? And I said, I don't know. So he, I had the track. I wrote to it. I didn't know it was for Curtis Blow. And when I gave it to him, he said, Curtis is on this track. That's his mentor. So we haven't toured because it was a time he was going through or uh, recovering from his heart surgery, heart transplant. So we didn't get to perform it as of yet. But yes, the king is near. Shout out to Curtis Blow and Gospel Gabe. Oh, you're going to have to send me that song. Yes. Yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> I did not know he had a heart transplant. Yes. yes he went through um, some major um, battles, some major, major battles. I believe maybe two years, three years ago and oh, came wow. out very well. So you see him around. He's doing good. Shout out. Happy birthday, Curtis Blow. That was wow. an honor. Wow. So you also have an award by the American Music Guild. Tell us about that. Yes. As a publisher and songwriter with ASCAP, um, I didn't even know how my music was recognized by them but it was and I received a letter and a award in the mail so that was like astounding to me and we never know who's watching and who's looking at our progress and what we do so that was just a real blessing to me that is true you really don't you really don't, don't. that's thank you for saying that yeah so you also are a member of Vi Higginson's Wednesday Sings Choir I know she's the one that does Mama yes. I Want to Sing, want to sing. <laughs> Oh, bless her I heart. Love them. I yes. Love her. Okay, so you, <laughs> yes. still, you still sing with her? On, is that you sing every Wednesday? Like, how does that work? We sing. So. Yes, we go back in October. We go through a semester trained by um, music master Greg Kelly. Shout out Greg Kelly, Ma, Mama Vi, by Higginson, her daughter Noelle Higginson, the artistic director. We go on on Wednesdays in Harlem. We sing, and then we go out to different churches, events. We did Cordell, Cordell Clear, different areas all over and we'll sing and it's for uh, people over 20 years old so you know they have sing harlem they have children's music groups which two of my children participate in so it's a wonderful experience and i saw mama i want to sing when it came back out last year four times for free just because we were members of the choir so <laughs> Uh, it was, it was awesome. a great I was experience. there. Yes. Awesome. Oh, wow. Yes. 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 It awesome. was awesome. So tell us about your song, My God Could Do Anything. Oh, My God Could Do Anything. I, it's, it's a testimony song. I was going through some serious health problems with heart and lungs didn't know what happened why it came upon me i couldn't talk i could not really breathe and i met this awesome producer sean johnson teddy bear music at bronx net at an interview and he said um this was months before and he said i have a track do you want it i want to send it to you i think you could do something good with it so i listened and i listened the music got in my heart i wrote the song I would be going for iron treatments. I had bad anemia on top of everything. And the nurse would say, what are you writing? And I was just writing this song. How my God can do anything is a faith filled, like part of my testimony journey song. And it's so special to me. Hey, Amen. Well, let's go ahead and play it. My God could do All anything right. by MC yes. Heaven. Don't go anywhere, y'all. Yes. We got more great show coming up. I'm hanging out with MC Heaven right here on the Me and Miss Jones yes. show. <laughs> yes, come on. They got to come on in and join us. Where they at? <laughs> yes, yes. Here we go. <laughs> okay. My God could do anything. 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 His miracles and blessings I just can't explain. The suffering, trials, tribulations, and pain. When I can't breathe, heart racing real quick. He says your work's not done, so it's not time yet. I never have to worry, cause he's always here. And when I don't feel him, I know he's still here. Worst times in my life when I thought I couldn't make it. God pulled me through the fire and said, With him, you could take it. My God could do anything. 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 
is my weapon when I'm going through He gives me the victory for all obstacles Life these days is so unpredictable The ones you love and trust be the ones that really get to you And once you're betrayed, it's hard to forgive Can make you real bitter, Christ that's so we can live I'm talking from experience and those that's close to me Know my life story and all God has done for me He called me his own and he raised me Tossed my sins and then eternally forgave me And there's no greater love than this He saved my soul from the pit of the abyss And who could be against you with God on your side Scatter all your enemies, my God is alive I forget the former things and press toward the high calling I thank him every day because he kept me from falling The weapons of my warfare, not earthly My physical could touch but my soul you can't hurt me Cause I'm sealed to the day of redemption Always seeking wisdom on this foreign mission I'm destined, appointed to live for his glory My God can do anything, he's always here for me So if you hear his call, please don't delay Think about your very soul if this was your last day And when I think of the goodness and all he's done for me I gotta say thank you Lord, I thank you for setting me free I like that MC Heaven. <laughs> Thank you. I was here vibing like I'm on the radio, Dr. Miss Jones show. Hey, that's what's up. Hey. That is what what's up. So while that was playing, you were telling me that you were supposed to be on last year on the show. <laughs> yes, yes. I, and this is what this is why I love. I love how God does things. I had an opportunity. I was with, shout out Sax Quadero, the narrator. I was in her movie premiere, I Am Relentless, which I'm also in on Tubi. They had an event at the Comedy in Harlem. Then I went back to perform. My girl Kim Seabrook had was hosting. I went back to perform and shout out Nikki. She said, if you come on another event, you can be interviewed on the Miss Jones show. But I had something and I wasn't able to. So I was like, I missed that opportunity. But look how God brought it back. Won't and he here do I it. am. Won't he yes. do it? <laughs> yes. Won't he do it? That is so amazing. <laughs> yes. So you are so a busy woman. Your wife, yes. a mother, a caregiver, yes. an RN, a singer, songwriter, mm-hmm. actress. How are you balancing everything? <laughs> Oh, who? I know, I know everyone, and it might sound cliche, but it's really true. The faith, my faith, and my strength in God. Not that I don't get weary, but one of my favorite verses is Do not be weary and well doing, for you will reap a harvest if you faint not. So I'm always praying for strength, for balance, direction what to do, what not to do, where to go, where not to go. And family is the first ministry. So uh, that that re- that helps me a lot. And of course, people that pray, pray for me, with me, um, that really helps so much. Yes. I like how you said family is the first ministry. That is true. Oh, you have preachers yes. that, you know, they helping yes. everybody else, but it's like, what's up with your house? Like your yeah, household your is house a wreck. Is- <laughs> yes. So it I happened to that. me. Like when you're new in the faith, your zeal is like, I was, a, I'm a praise team leader, officiator. So every Wednesday night Bible study, Friday night prayer, like everything was when I was newly married about the church and my pastor actually sat me down, taught me about the balance. Mm. Um, God bless my church, Christian Federation, my pastor, David Jenkins Jr. and his wife. They said, no, family first. Family is first. So that foundation stuck with me yes. to this day. And yes. I balance it out best as I can. Amen. I love that. Amen. So yeah. you are in the stage play, Tales of a Grown Girl. It is coming up Woo! again September 14th. Yes. Y'all are going to be doing your thing. Yes. We're going to yes. have the playwright on next. But just oh. tell everybody a little bit about your character. 
episode. Oh, shout out the whole Tales of a Grown Girl casting crew, Yolanda Braithwaite. I had the, um, I, I, this is the third time I'm going to be in the play. The first time I was a different character. This time I am the aunt of young Michelle Bell. Um, based off of Yolanda Braithwaite. I'm not, uh, I don't want to say too much, but I'm not crazy about aunt, come to the house, get your food and all of that stuff. And things is going on in my house that no one would suspect. So this young girl, Michelle, is just going through it at home, at school. Then she comes to her aunt's house, which is supposed to be a place of refuge. And she's going through more drama. So that's a very interesting character for me. Um, and shout out Yolanda. I met her at Nick Cannon show. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Oh, the, oh, the talk show, the talk show. <laughs> okay, Nick Cannon's talk show. Yes, yes. I went yes. there. Okay, a few times and met her. So okay. praise and shout out to the whole tales of a grown girl crew. Very exciting. Tell everybody they gotta come and be there. Yes. September fourteenth. September fourteenth. And yes. I was even blessed to do a song for her. Um, for the play, like she has a soundtrack, and she always looks out for the cast. So that's a wonderful thing to be in the environment where your producers and directors, you know really think about the cast and their platform as well yes so what made yeah. you change characters like is this did y'all just change up the play so oh, much or your character yeah. you just fit well this is a remaster mm-hmm. yeah she remastered the play so it's a, a whole different team and so roles and characters that wasn't in the previous one was filled and i just you know shifted into a different one and it's fine it's good it like shows the um the different roles and different characters and different ranges so it's good i enjoy it okay well go ahead and give everybody your social media information your website if you have one so that they can follow you sure praise god everybody on this beautiful sunday morning shout out to dr miss jones show mc heaven see in the house and hey. you can reach me at A. <laughs> I'm always doing a drop, Dr. Miss Jones. I be doing drops and freestyle. That's right. <laughs> so you can find me at MC Heaven Facebook, Instagram, MC Heaven Music, and another Instagram, Heaven Rocks. Okay, you just better have several Instagrams. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, let's play your yes. next song, Spirits. Tell us about that. Okay. Spirits is also by Sean Johnson I and Teddy Bear Music. And it's talking about things that we go through in church. We have battles outside in the world as well as in the church. So I talk about those things and how the evil is just present everywhere. But with the spirit of God, we overcome. All right. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much for sharing your music Aww. and your journey with us. So let's go ahead oh, and play you. your music, Spirits. By MC right. Heaven. Don't go anywhere, y'all. Keep it like right here to the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Dr. Miss Jones, and MC yes. Heaven. And next up is the cast and the yes, crew yes. of Tales of a Grown Girl. Here we go. Ooh. Stop using church intimidation, control and manipulation. Je- Je- Jezebel and all them spirits fall back, not trying to hear it. Go with Jesus, walk in peace. On your pew, can sit that beast that we're fighting in the world. I'm that JC Supergirl, Jesus Christ, belt of truth. I'm a God, I'm slaying you. Power of the word to a sword. MC Heaven rocks for her Lord. Thought they crept in unaware. Didn't see the gatekeeper standing right there. Not, not getting down with your tactics, undoctrinal practice. Re- Fine, select up, bring it back. Heaven is on this track. No more games in my mind. God built me in the spirit. Division, corruption, strife. Envy, you no, know, I'm not trying to hear it. God gave me eyes to see. So glad he set me free. In his church, there's liberty. Resist the enemy, he will flee. The greatest commission, go teach, preach. Not having all this beef in these walls, killing each other. Greatest commandment, love your brother. Forgive and pray unceasingly. So glad God forgave me. New life and victory. Pure religion, undefiled James, James fits the whole profile Woe to the shepherd, scatter the sheep Warning, Jeremiah 23 No hooks or chorus, heart is speaking Sick of the fakeness every weekend Tired of the wolves trying to sneak it False doctrine, real teaching True preacher, we God seeking God focused, resurrection, trinity Predestined, justification Saved by grace, spiritual blessings In heavenly place, chosen generation To eternity, giving praise and all the glory I'm done
I've been selfish, I've been reckless Doing whatever I can But even on my weakest days I still can hold your hand I struggle with some demons That will scare you at first glance I could search the world, won't find a better friend Let the truth come out, yeah Said I need you Welcome back. You're listening to the Me and Miss Jones show. I'm your host, Dr. Miss Jones. That was some new music called I Need You by Tiwa Savage and you know your boy can sing Zacardi Cortez. All right, it is time to bring on my next guest. My next guest is the author and playwright for Tales of a Grown Girl book and stage play. I want y'all to show a lot of love to Yolanda Breathwaite. Hey, how are you today? I'm doing well. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Of course. So I always like to tell everybody where I meet my guests. So we have been friends on social media. I don't know how long, but then you came out to my comedy versary on June 29th at the City Winery. Yes. So we got to finally meet in person. So thank you for coming out to support. I appreciate it. Of course. It was a it was an amazing show. Thank you so much. Thank you. So yes, yeah, so you came out and then we had you on the TV show and it was like, okay, well we got to have you on the radio show. But we were supposed to meet a few months ago. Or was it last year? I think it might have been last year. Yes, it was last year and I uh, during the covid was still out. Yes, yes. I think I had bronchitis or something, so I couldn't come out to support right. the play then. But I'm going to be there on September 14th. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know you are excited. Yes, I am. Yes, yes. So we got connected because of David. Shout out to him. He's in the clubhouse. So thank you for connecting us. I appreciate it. So the thank play you, has been the play has been remastered. <laughs> Yes, yes. We just added more. We focused on more of um, young Michelle mom and the relationship they had. Okay. So tell mm-hmm. us like the background of the, the play and the book. It's based on your book. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's based on the book, which is based on my life yes. growing up in the 90s. Yes, your Amazon best-selling book. We got. We don't want to forget that part. No, we don't want to forget that. That's right. Congratulations <laughs> on that. So it's based on your life growing up in the 90s. So yes. give us a little synopsis. 
Okay, so um, Michelle Bell, which is me, she goes through so many different obstacles trying to find herself, trying to deal with just being a young teen and uh, growing up through high school, junior high and everything and coping with her mom and meeting her two girlfriends that that she experienced a lot with. Mm, Okay. Now you Mm -hmm. have a lot of books that you've written. What made you decide to do a play out of this one? Well, you know what? The book was doing so well. So many people was asking about, they wanted more, uh, when is part two coming? And so I was just like, okay, I have something here. Mm. Let's turn this into a stage play because I wasn't yet ready for a movie. Oh, mm-hmm. we got that so in, I, in the pipeline. I mean, what yeah, we so it's just steps by step. Yes. Okay. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love yep. that. So you also founded Grown Girls NYC, Incorporated, yes. you empower women. So tell yes. us about that. What what are you doing with that? Okay, so Grow Girls NYC is a nonprofit organization that has been in existence now for almost 10 years. And basically, we work with different organizations, uh, different other companies like Snapple, like New York Life, uh, the Cancer Foundation, the Kidney Foundation, um, homelessness to just uh, help others in areas that we can help. Um, one year I did the breast cancer imagery, had the mobile van come out and give provide um, breast exam for women. Oh, that's great. We, yes, we fed homeless. Uh, and then we give information for women that is in need of shelter. That's beautiful. So what made you decide to focus on women? Like, it seems like all your books are geared toward women. You have the Grow yeah. Girls NYC. You got your stage yeah. play. So what made you, you know, just have such a focus on women? Because as women, we deal with so much and we need support. You know, we have we wear so many different hats. We the mom, we the dad, we the aunt, we the sister, we everything to everybody. But who's to us? Mm. So that's the support team. I love that. And you mm-hmm. have a testimony. You've overcome domestic abuse. Can you share mm-hmm. a little bit? Yeah. So um, I had briefly dealt with that um, in my life growing up. Uh, I'm glad I, you know, I didn't stay in a situation like that. You know, it could. It could have been worse, but it was briefly. So between that and uh, a lot of different health issues, I got through with God. Amen. Yeah, you know, a lot of times people, they don't even know how to come out of it, you know. Mm -hmm. So you got through with God. Like, did you reach out to an organization as well that kind of gave you some aid? Because sometimes people are like, I don't have any money. You know, I've been married all the time. I've been Mm -hmm. a housewife. Like, they just need, like somebody to help them financially and just give them some support so did you have some you know somebody that kind of like gave you some support yeah you know what my family was a real big support for me as long as i didn't want to deal with it or sit in it Mm -hmm. they would do anything to help me yeah but you know you have to be at that point like this is not me (laughs) yeah and i don't want that yes amen so September 14th, somebody already yes. is in the chat in the clubhouse. Where is this play? They want to know where is the play? <laughs> the play is at the Roulette Theater in Brooklyn yes. on Atlantic Avenue. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, what time? What time? Doors open up at 6, showtime at 7. Tickets are available at www.growngirlsnyc.com. Now, I know you had a birthday recently. Happy birthday. Yes, thank you. Leo you Nation. Me? Leo Nation. Mm-hmm. Ow. Ow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I know. Yes. I remember you shared something that you had a discount for your birthday. Was it just yes. on your birthday? or can, no, can it's it, for the, no, it's for the entire month of August. Ow. Ow. Mm-hmm. So, how do they get this discount? Do they need a code or something? They, or? Yes, they do. They need the code capital B, capital D, Capital A, capital Y. So it should say B day in one word, all caps. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. And they get 10% and they, off. 
they get ten dollars off their ticket. Oh, ten dollars! Yeah. Okay, there we yeah. go. All right, we like that. We love a good mm-hmm. discount around. Yeah, yeah. And they, <laughs> I've been seeing they've been using their code too. They've been yes, using. <laughs> yes, put that code in. Put that code in. Yes. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's go to the clubhouse because I see quite a few of the cast. I see you got your cast and director in there. So I'm gonna let them have the floor and, and say what they want to say. I see Ty Paperwork yes. is in here. I see your cast and director David mm-hmm. Quinones is up in here. So yes. if y'all want to say something, y'all go ahead and flash your mic. Whoever want to say something. I know ain't nobody shy. I know Ty definitely ain't shy. David ain't shy <laughs> either. Go don't flash your mic. Who want to go first? <laughs> they acting shy today though. Yeah. <laughs> nobody want to say nothing? Okay, they act as I, 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 <laughs> as much as Ty be talking and Dave. Yeah, nobody yeah, y'all don't want to say uh, nothing about the play. I'm surprised Dave okay. because Dave is so long winded. I know that's right. Oh no, <laughs> he called me the other day. I was trying to watch Sisters and he was talking. <laughs> I, I got one eye on sister, one, <laughs> one ear to the TV, one ear on the phone. I was like, okay. So now they both want to act shy. Nobody want to say nothing. Ty Paperwork, David Quinones, y'all don't want to say nothing. Well, I want to say. You say, yeah, what you got to say? Yeah. <laughs> please go <laughs> please go to the website, www.growngirlsnyc.com. Use the code BDAY, all caps, to buy those tickets for the stage play, so, September 14th. September 14th. And tell them where it's at one more time. The Roulette Theater in Brooklyn and Atlantic mm-hmm. Avenue. Okay. Oh, and the opening act will be uh, Gerald. Yes, Kelly, yes, yes, his, yes. His son, the comedian, will yes. be um, be the opening act. Now, which one? Because you know he got three kids. Yes, he do. Which one? The, the little one or uh, the middle one? The middle one. Okay, Joshua. Yeah, yeah Josh. Okay, yes, yes, yep. yes. Okay, yep. yes. So, okay. And, and Gerald and Gerald himself is in the play. Gerald is in the play. Yes, Gerald yes. Kelly. So now you got him with some funny stuff, some some funny lines, because you know he. I mean, I'm sure he could do a nice dramatic role, but you know we want to. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. He's the school principal. That's Principal Tate. Oh my God! Oh <laughs> Lord! Because he was on here. He was talking about how he was the the class clown, pulling <laughs> fire alarms and stuff in school. Yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be a funny principal. I cannot wait to see this. Yeah, I love it. Are right, you want to give any other shout outs to any other of your uh your cast? I see Ty Paperwork yeah. say his mic ain't working. This oh. is this is a convenient day for your mic not to work, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta so do I is gonna... click on the mic icon. I had problems too the first time I was in Clubhouse. It's your mic icon on the bottom right of your screen. Just tap that. Mm-hmm. Oh, he flashing it nasty. Oh my, give some instructions. That's all you got to do. Hey, Ty. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Ooh, we good. How you doing, Ty? I'm doing well. You know, just coming from doing laundry. But, uh, okay. <laughs> wash them clothes. Doing, uh, okay. Yeah, gotta wash clothes. Gotta make sure your clothes are clean. That's right. Uh, everybody over here. You know, shout yeah. out to you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for support. For the support, of course, all the mm-hmm. time. And I thank you for for allowing me to be cast in this role. Oh, uh, God, yes. for, for picking for here, picking me. Mm-hmm. You know, so I just want everybody to come out September 14th, 509 Atlantic Avenue, the Roulette Theater. It's gonna be epic. I don't want to miss this. They're gonna laugh. They're gonna cry. They're gonna smile. They're gonna be sad. They're gonna be happy. It's gonna be. Emotional roller coaster. Okay. Yes, it is. All right, we love that. We already know we're gonna laugh. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna cry and everything. Tell us about your character, Ty. Okay, well, my character, um, I'm playing Uncle D. Um, mm-hmm. basically, Michelle's Michelle Bell, stepdad of some sort, and you know, I'm the mom's boyfriend. Um, yeah, Uncle D is an interesting character, you know, without going into too many details. Let's just say Uncle D is, um, he's in a, your average Uncle D. Let's say that. <laughs> when you come out, you're going to see it. Um, how I bring him to life. Um, and 
you know, just, just basically give the best version in the worst version. Hopefully, we got the possibly present to everyone, you know, without coming across as <laughs> a monster of some sort. Oh, 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 mm-hmm. boy. oh, monster. You don't yeah. you said it already now. That's Uncle D. Mm. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Well, I cannot wait to see how you bring that character to life. Yes. Mm. Okay. Because, you know, you cool and you nice and everything in person. So, you about to be a monster. Oh, my God, today. My God, today. (laughs) I cannot wait. I love that. All right. So, David Quinones is in the chat. He said, make sure you go and purchase your tickets. GrownGirlsNYC.com. I love that. Yes. All right. So you got any any other nuggets to tell us, Shalonza, before you go? Uh, no, I just I really want to just say thank you to a phenomenal cast. Yes. For working with us, this is the last time the play will be in New York. Okay. This is uh, um from there we move on, but uh so definitely come out and see it. I want to give a big shout out to T Marie. She's like my right hand person. I couldn't do. I could not do half the stuff that I do with with uh, without her. So um, shout out to her, and she is the uh, director of the play. Okay, I love that. So where are y'all going next? Next, we head to South. Okay, I love mm-hmm. that. Take it on the road. Take it on yes, the road. Yes, we are. All right, we are on the road. I love okay. it. Okay, I see. I see Broadway. I see Broadway. Yeah, as yeah. Well. yeah. Wherever God would like us to go, we there. I love it. I just I let him it. lead. Yes. All right. All roads okay. lead to Brooklyn on September 14th. That's right. The Roulette Theater. I love it. All right. Tell them one more time where to get tickets. Get your tickets now at www.growngirlsnyc.com. Use the code BDAY, all caps, and you receive your discount. And um, we see you September 14th. All right. I will definitely be seeing you. I'm covering it for the paper. So, yes. Yes, I can't wait. We're going to do that. All okay. right. I'm excited. Okay. All Thank right. you, God Dr. Bless. Miss Jones. Yes. Have yeah. a great day. Yes. Give everybody your social media as well in case they have any other questions and they want to Yes. You can find me on Facebook at, at uh, Yolanda. Y-O-L-A-N-D-A Brathwaite B-R-A-T-H-W-A-I-T-E I'm on Instagram at Grown Girls NYC Inc And um, That's it Everything else is Yolanda Brathwaite Thank you Thank you so much Have a blessed day Okay you too Bye All right All right, let's go ahead and get back into some more great music This one is a new one by Mally Music It's called True Love Don't go anywhere, y'all. We got more great show coming up right here on the Me and Miss Jones show with me, Dr. Miss Jones. Guess we got to do what lovers do. Cause there's no other way. It all behind, it ain't over, it ain't over There's no other way All this can't be no pass in it They don't understand a half of it Everybody know I'm passionate If it's a party then I'm crashing it Get more party Start dancing with somebody Feel it not touching on body Guess we gotta do what lovers do Cause there's no other way And if you leave it all behind It ain't over, it ain't over There's no other way Can we decide? Let's not waste no time Give me your heart I'll 
give you mine Can't wait to sign Let's not waste no oh, time Oh, give me your heart I'll give you mine Can't wait to sign Let's not waste no time All this game, you know I'm passing it They don't understand a half of it Everybody know I'm passionate If it's a party, then I'm crashing it Keep more party Start dancing with somebody Feel it Not touching on nobody Guess we gotta do what lovers do Cause there's no other way And if you leave it all behind It ain't over, it ain't over There's no other way A letter. Too many mistakes to facilitate presentation. It's in the trash, balled up. Words tangle my heart up. They want it off the dribble, I'm a spot up. All my years, all my fears, my soul loads vulnerability. But looking at your body is bringing thoughts of fertility. Can't hide the mind that my joggers done with and got up. Talking about loving, it's gonna get bought up. But even happy hearts are serious, cause none wanna be played with. Even cold bodies wanna be laid with. Even soul bodies are. Thinking of the mothers and lovers, moments they stepping off a of slave ship. Come and take your medicine today. Come and laugh your cares away. Come and take your medicine today. Come and laugh your cares away. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to bring the funny. That's right. It's time to bring on my comedian for today. You have seen him on Comedy Central, BET. He appears at clubs, colleges, and churches all around the world. He has shared the stage with Dean Edwards, Rip Michaels, Rodney Perry, and more. I want y'all to show a lot of love to Brooklyn's own Sherwin XL. Hey. What's going on, Dr. Yo, what's going on? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. You just reminded me Central Central Cast I did uh that joint right there was it was online so Pop Pop really puts with my mentor Harris Hayes back in the days. He was all through the book club of Black with anybody. Good morning to you and yours. How you doing, girl? Okay, ew, ew. I always like to tell everybody where I meet my guests. So we met several years ago at an expo in New York City, and we have kept in touch ever since. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, you're from the Caribbean? Yeah, I'm born in New York in Kings County Hospital. And um, my mother's from the island of Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, okay. I thought you was gonna say Jamaica. I was gonna say Wagwan. No, not Jamaica. I, I, that's 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 my cousin from John Rock there and, and Haiti and all that other thing there. And Puerto, <laughs> and Puerto Rico. Oh, oh. <laughs> so how long you been doing comedy? Oh uh, man, since birth because my family's funny. But originally, I gave you know Sherwin XL was given birth in Caroline's on Broadway in 1999. Okay, so what you just go and just decide to do an open mic? Yeah, it was off of a bet. Okay, so what they say? Like, uh, you can't like, be funny. Like, I can't, yeah, you know what's so funny? On that, I was like, I took comedy classes at Carolina's on Broadway, but when I found out I had to take comedy classes, I was like, what if I get an F for not being funny? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all give Fs up in here. <laughs> Oh, but, I, but I got through. I got through, and I had a good time. And you can you can go on YouTube and and see my very first time on on uh, on uh, Caroline's on Broadway. I'm yes. in a red black. Funny, I'm in a red black and white shirt, which is the flag of Trinidad of Tobago. Wow, that is so funny. 
Pass mm-hmm. or fail? You failed. You failed comedy class. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, I was wondering. I was like, I hope I don't get an F. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. <laughs> but I got an A. I got an A. There we go. There we go. It's so like Fonzie it? back in the day's classic TV show. Fonzie from Happy Days classic TV show. A. I got a. an A. <laughs> <laughs> now, how'd you get the name Sherwin XL? Where did XL oh, come from? Well, Sherwin is my real name, mm-hmm. which is Eminem is friendship, and it's and it's uh. I think it's something something about a lion or whatever. Bold as a lion. But the XL, um, I took the X from Malcolm, the L from MLK. I always wanted to be a great speaker like the both of them. And that's the unknown love that I had for the both of them. And basically, as Sherwin XLs, I want to see others XL like you and your listeners online. I love that. I love that. So congratulations, you received the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award. When did you get yours? Oh, that was uh maybe like two years ago. Okay. okay. Yeah, so but it's now been changed to the President's Volunteer Um Achievement Award. Yes, yes. Well, you know, yeah. it has several different names, you know. Yeah. <laughs> AKAs, yeah. but yes, congratulations. Yeah. So who gave you yours? I got one last year. Um, Dr. Ruby. Oh, I know Dr. Ruby. Nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. She's mad cool. Funny as all heck. She should be in comedy herself. She's funny. <laughs> that is so dope. So you also got the Danny Glover Power of the Dream Award. Tell us about that. I haven't heard of that one. Yeah. Um. Basically, I guess that one goes under the area of acting, and then also, and I guess in comedy because um I didn't give up on myself. As you know, in this because you know in this walk, a lot of people sometimes don't believe in what you're doing, and you just need to have a nonstop and and unshakable faith in yourself. Yes. Yeah, so it's like, that's that's the power of a dream because it's like I I think I saw, I said a long time ago, um, it's not a dream anymore; it's a reality that I'm reaching for. Mm. You know, okay. so okay. my reality so, yeah. has been solidified. Amen. <laughs> now I love this. You are a hero. You saved a young girl from being kidnapped from two violent men. And yeah, the from, city yeah. of New York gave you a citation for it. Congratulations on that. That is so Thank awesome. you. Yeah, I, w- I received that in um, the Roosevelt Public Library a couple of years back. Yeah. So what what happened? Like, what you just saw them grabbing the girl? I mean, what happened? Yeah, I was actually, I was like, you know, you know, XL also, I got a big belly. <laughs> so <laughs> I was, I was taking a walk <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> from Freeport, New York to Roosevelt. I was trying to get the exercise in. Okay. Um, this is a brother told me, he said, Hey, the best, one of the best ways you can, uh, you know, lose weight is take a walk. Mm-hmm. You know, like how, you know, you know, you do a treadmill, mm-hmm. but I was just doing it real, real life wise. But okay. there's a little girl, there's a little girl running. Um, and I was like, I was like looking at her. She's like, she was on the phone. Mommy, mommy, they're trying to get me. And I said, who's trying to get you? And it, it, there was, and this was right in front of Donnie McClurkin's church. Mm. And she was like, oh, these two guys, some guy said all out to me. I said all out to him. And he grabbed me. And I got on the phone with her mother. And she said, um, she, I asked the man, the lady, I said, she doesn't know them. She said, no, we just moved from here from Atlanta. We don't know nobody. Um, and I told her where I was. And she came and she came and I protected her from the two guys. And the crazy thing is when the cops got there, they threw me in the, in the dang car because the guys, they left. Wow. And then when the mother got there, it's like, yo, where's Sherwin XL? He helped my daughter. And you know. Yeah, so Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, but yeah, but everything worked out. And from what I know, I did keep in touch with them. The young lady's getting into law. She's trying to be a criminal lawyer, I believe. Wow. See that that helped her, that shaped her um life. Mm-hmm. So yeah, thank you for that. You no might doubt, have to, no you doubt. Might, I, you might have I, to be in law enforcement as well or something. Well, <laughs> well, I well I call myself Sherwin Excel, the comedy crusader. There it is. You just need a cape. <laughs> oh, that's all you need to do is get a cape now. You know. It. Well, I did meet Adam West back in the day, so I can I can say that. So I'm a comedy crusader, Sherwin Excel, comedy crusader. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are gonna go ahead and get into some tea. You ready Uh-oh, to spill okay. some tea with a sister? Okay. Well, I want to. I want to sip it if it's sweet. <laughs> but yeah. Go ahead. Let's go. Well, yeah. It's it's very sweet. <laughs> it's very it's it's very delicious. Um, 
It's called holy tea. That's the kind of tea we drink around here. But you know, okay. On a regular. So, so when you sip it, it's holy tea. So it's so when it's sipping, you gotta go. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's what you do. That's what you do. I see Michelle, my moderator, already got her tea cup out. That's right, girlfriend. So, okay. what kind of tea do you drink on a regular? Me, I like sweet yet warm. Okay. Okay, not not too hot and boiling. Okay. Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing to burn up my lips. No. Yeah, don't burn your lips and your tongue and, and, and your, your whole yeah, and nothing. Up. Yeah, nothing sour. <laughs> you need, need it to be some warm and sweet. Okay, okay. I like me some Lipton decaffeinated, but you know I get fancy Lipton, fancy now with yes, all these Lipton, flavors. Yes, Lipton Lipton's a classic. Yep. Yes, I like a little flavor in it. Now I got the little peach bag mm-hmm. you know i make it at the house put a little peach up in there throw some lemon juice some honey okay. you know i like to get a little fancy on them now you know what I'm oh saying. okay okay a little lemon ain't gonna hurt yeah, you it's never yeah, hurt, hear never you. hurt nobody well, well usually but i grew up i grew up loving hot my hot chocolate my quick back in the days <laughs> okay okay well we we spilling some holy tea when we come back from this break so so everybody gets your teacups ready because the tea is boiling hot today so we'll be right back bubbling 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 <laughs> thick skin stiff upper lip tough as nails but to be everything for everybody It wears on you. Black don't crack, they say. But it can. I can. We all can. Y'all, it's okay to not be okay. Reach out to a friend if you see them going through it. No matter who you are, being vulnerable is what makes us whole. Learn how to help at SeizeTheAqua.org. Welcome back. You're listening to the Me and Miss Jones show. I am still your host, Dr. Miss Jones, and I'm hanging out with comedian Sherwin XL. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, you ready to go ahead and spill some of this holy tea? You ready? Yes, I am ready. All right. We are stirred and we're ready to go. All right, What's here the we word? go. We stirred and get ready to get the word. All right, here we go. All right, so the first story is about Tory Lanez. Just want to give everybody an update on him. As you know, he is serving a 10 year prison sentence following the 2020 shooting of Megan the Stallion. So he is in prison now and he's he's doing his thing in there. He just graduated from high school. You know, I used to work in a prison. And, you know, if they don't have their high school diploma or GED, you know, they are mandated to go to school. So he's been going to school there. He graduated from high school and he is currently enrolled in college for the fall. He said that he's taking advantage over everything that's good. He says that it matters to him and it's the small things that make him feel good about life right now. And he said that he is bettering himself. So what are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's a great thing to hear that he's um, getting his genius on behind bars. <laughs> Unfortunately, he had to be behind bars to do that. But you know, wow. but from what I'm understanding, it's that uh, that what's the guy's name, Jaquan Smith, that was a witness. They never used him because he's saying that um, uh, what's the name, Megan's friend Kelsey had a gun and her and Tori was fighting over it, and the gun went off. And I'm like, he was a witness, and they didn't use him back in 2020, which is crazy. Well, you know what? I think it was because he didn't he get lost for a while or uh, something. I don't know. I think um, he got lost. I just think that's crazy. For, for all, a minute. all witness, all witnesses are supposed to what testify. Hey, right? so I, I, I don't understand. Yeah, He's a witness. But you know what? I'm sure he gone. He's he's fighting it. I mean, even R. Kelly is still trying to fight his case, and he's been up in prison for a minute. So we gonna keep um we gonna stay and keep following that, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, I'm happy. To, I'm happy to hear he's you know he's he's putting on his he's getting his scholar on. Yeah, you know, where he's at. He really doing his thing in prison. Like you know what was so crazy? So I heard you know he did like a a call into a podcast, and he was on the podcast talking about some Alexa play "Welcome Back" or some song. 
And I'm like, uh, they got Alexa in prison now? I didn't know they had Alexa in prison. <laughs> you ever heard of that? Um, well, of course. You said they have a what? Alexa. You know how they got Alexa? He was on um, the call talking about some Alexa play such and such. Look, you know what? I'm going to say this, and everybody in the world can say it after me. That's one thing I don't do. I am not talking to Google. I'm not talking to Alexa. I'm not asking nothing. I'll just I'll just say what I want. I'm not talking to them things. I'm not talking to it. I ain't talking I'm not to it, it the name. I, I'm not even. It ain't even on. Hello. How about no, that? How about that? Dude. I like, know how like, to. Like, I know how to go to Google. Like <laughs> my Caribbean cousins would say, "Man, I do it. Man, I do it. Me not. Me not. Me not. Me not do it. My fingers work. Yeah. I can type. I, I know how to, to type. <laughs> If you don't, if if you weren't, if you weren't born the way I was born with flesh and bone, I am not calling no, your name. Me either, me either. But Anybody <laughs> can do that. Look, but, even the Justins, even the Justins didn't do that. They just pressed the buttons and said what they needed. There wasn't no name. I'm not doing it. <laughs> not doing but, it. But you know, Tory Lanez just dropped his first project from behind bars. It's called Prison Tapes. I want to know when they got a studio in prison. When did they get one in there? Like, what? What? When did all this happen? Well, you well, you see, technology these days. He, uh-huh. can, he can rap over the phone. Fo- I he guess can rap so. online. He can I rap guess. over the phone. I Let guess. me hear the beat. Yo, race me up, yo. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy to me. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. And he posting pro- on Instagram and everything. He's advertising his new project. I mean, other people do handle people's social medias, but I don't know. It's, it's a whole lot going on in prison since I was teaching there. <laughs> I would have called it bar. I would have called it bars behind bars. That's what I would have called it. Oh wow, that's a good one. Bars behind bars. Bars on yeah. top of bars. You catch these it's, bars. It's, it's, yeah. You catch bars, these bars. Bars, bars son? behind bars. Bars on top of bars. <laughs> bars beyond bars. Yes, yes. <laughs> we got the bars. <laughs> Somebody, I think it's, we we, we should have done the PR for him. <laughs> I'm just saying, and he got a, I'm doing a picture PR about the bars. He got a picture of inside of a jail. So I'm just like you better not have a phone up in there now. If you got a phone now, listen. You know they got sometimes. <laughs> listen, sometimes uh, you might you might be like, you know what? I'm not a criminal, but that looks like a vacation. Place. I'm just trying. Well, no, it don't look like a vacation. It is quite dirty. I wasn't even wearing my good shoes up in there. I was like, y'all was getting these raggedy little. Pay less joints up in here. Nah, mm. you, you keep forgetting. You keep forgetting. Um, mm. You know, hot. High level um, situations and crimes, yeah. they, they get they get luxury. They so might. you never they know. Might. They might. All right. So speaking of Instagram, so Fifty Cent is doing lots of bragging on Instagram. So he just won a one billion dollar lawsuit against an ex drug lord over the Power series. So Corey Goes Holland Senior accused Fifty Cent of using his life story to create the TV series Power. So in, right. yeah, so in 2021 he sued 50 Cent, he sued Courtney Kemp, he sued Stars, and he sued Lion Gate. The brother was trying to get paid. So the judge just threw out the lawsuit. That's right, threw it out. So um, Corey said that he shared his story via a CD sent to Kemp's father, asking for help to escape his criminal past. He also mm-hmm. sued 50 Cent for harassment, saying that he sent his goons to intimidate him. So 50, of course, he loves to be on social media, and he put, fool thought he was ghost. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yes, fool thought but he, he was ghost. But he is ghost. <laughs> no, but the boy, the dude called himself ghost, Corey Ghost Holland Sr. So he probably was just like, but there's the thing, though. I don't uh, I don't think a, a former drug lord could be intimidated. So if, if 50 really did do that, then Wow. <laughs> But you know the crazy thing is if you're a former drug lord and you sue and talk about okay that I mean power was all about killing where the bodies like I would be afraid that they be coming to investigate me now trying to find the bodies. Oh, I sued mm-hmm. all these drugs like I don't know if that was a good look like you just told on yourself. This 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 makes me go back Go back to fifty. One of, one of my favorite songs from Fifty. When I first heard him, he's like, "Boom, boom, boom, ba da da da." Nobody likes me, Duh, but that's okay. And I like y'all anyway. And I like y'all anyway. Forget all y'all. 
Dang, I don't even remember that one. <laughs> okay, you taking us back. Okay. I'm an avid, I'm an avid fan. I'm an avid fan. That's fifth. So, have a baby, Bobby, baby, be a millionaire. Oh well, he I know, got a, I know, he got a baby. I know you know that one. I don't even know that one. I don't know that one. <laughs> I know the, okay. the very popular. The club days one. is over. Yes, they yeah, have been why. over quite a long time. <laughs> probably, probably, when, probably when you stopped, that's when it got played. That's there it is. There it is. <laughs> Well, congratulations oh, yeah. go out to Latoya Luckett. She just got married. It's her third time around. A lot of people say the third time is a charm. I don't know. So she got married to Talio Coles. She got married in her hometown of Houston, Texas at a place called mm. La Tessere. She's 42 years old. There were about 200 loved ones in attendance. Tina Knowles, Tammy Franklin, Bun B, Toya Wright, Rusting, Latavia Roberson were some of the people that were uh, celebrities that were invited. And the guests were required to surrender their phones. Thoughts? Um. Well, these days, everybody, that's all they allow. It's like they, they wanted privacy, so they got it. You know, you have to do what you got to do. You know, Dave Chappelle does that as as, as so many shows and some comedians do that. At their shows uh-huh. and it's and it's needed because they want they want their privacy. And if yeah. you know, and 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 they have to and they have to respect it. If you didn't want it, if you didn't want to respect it, then you don't show up. But yeah. let me ask you something because you know, hey, I you know, hey, I Latoya's a cutie, mm-hmm. but give it to due to the fact that she's in in Texas. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but I was looking at, I was looking at her wedding photos, mm-hmm. and you know, for anybody that that maybe had a crush on her, you can't really be mad at the guy because he looks clean cut. And then they had a st- they were just saying that you know this I guess this marriage is you know has the has the father at the forefront, which is good. But I don't know, I don't know is it me or does she look a little bit like Vivica Fox? <laughs> she <laughs> looked like a young Vivica Fox from back in the day a little bit. She does a little pictures. bit, but she got her own style. She had like and white hair, so no, you know, I know. I'm just talking about a little facial feature, but but it's funny that she's in Houston, Texas, and that's where fifties at. And I mean, Vivica used to go out with joke. I just find that a little. I don't you know, think fifties in ironic. Houston. He's in, isn't he in Shreveport now? He has a new studio no, in Shreveport. I, well, I know he's in. I know he's in Texas. That's why I was just. I just found it like a little ironic that she looks a little bit like Vivica Fox, but mm-hmm. she's no longer single now. But she's also in Texas, where where fifty mm-hmm. is at. That's why I just mm-hmm. find that a little. Ironic. Oh, I thought he was in Shreveport because he just built a whole new studio. Well, that's probably where the studio's at, but yeah. I know he's in Texas. Oh, so. okay. But well, yeah. congratulations to that couple, yes, though. Yes, congrats. And I, I think that the phone surrendering is kind of cool because, you know, sometimes people take pictures of you and they just want the ones that look good with them in it. And they, they, you, they don't care what you look like. Well, well, so that, she can go and, through and, all um, her pictures first. <laughs> paparazzi. They probably didn't, she didn't want no paparazzi pictures so they can go on let people purchase the pictures that's probably what it was <laughs> well you know essence did a whole spread too with the wedding pictures so that might be it as well the pictures are beautiful yeah they're like we want exclusive pictures that's madam. right exclusive <laughs> exclusive pictures that's right no kodak <laughs> yeah yeah but on september 18 2022 she prayed and asked god to release her from her past issues and give her a heart that's complete and whole and she mm. said that this is the love of her life so i think that's so beautiful and i oh, definitely wish them yeah. well yeah prayer partner a prayer partner and a, and a best friend you know, that's 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 going to be a great thing. I love Hope, that. I, I, I wish them all the best. Yes, love that. So I found out about this next door and I love it. A different mm-hmm. world TV show. You know, we grew up on that in the 80s, 90s. It's a different world. Yes, from where, where we come, come from. from. That's right. From where you come from. Yes, yes. So they have a <laughs> sequel that's about to come out. And it is about yeah. Dwayne Wayne and Whitley Gilbert's daughter. She is attending Hillman College. So, okay, yeah, okay. it's from the producer of Bel Air. So, you mm-hmm. know, I love Bel Air. That's kind of like, you know, what? spin yeah. on Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You and, know, well, once they use once they use some of the original cast to bring them in and utilize I them, I think so. that would be really great. Yes, you know they got to show Whitley and Dwayne. HBC Dwayne Dwayne like Dwayne 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 so that's Whitley, gonna be good. Whitley Gilbert yes <laughs> <laughs> so yes yeah, so mm. Debbie Allen is involved and you know HU you know so she was HBCU. involved in the original one mm. as well 
Yes. And then they got yes. Gina Prince Blythewood. I think she was involved in Pre Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Gonna, and how many? They had what six seasons, if I do so recall, right? They yeah. had a lot. They had a lot. Yeah. So I yeah, think it's going to be really good. They got a lot of great producers and stuff. And I'm sure that original cast is going to come back, you know, as friends of the family and all that. And then you got. Yeah, I, hope they, I do. I really hope they have a sprinkle of the original cast up in there. I think so. Because, you know, they've been on tour and stuff wonderful. together recently. I think yeah. so. I think so. So, yeah. So, um, I really like the original, you know, it was definitely a positive show. You know, I went to Howard and I think it just had a positive light on black colleges. It let everybody know about HBCUs. I think yeah, I got to meet only one people. person from a different world in person. Oh, yeah. Who'd you meet? Spin bad, baby. Okay. Spin bad. Spin yes, bad. Yes. Yes. Shout out to him. Sin bad, baby. Yes, but yeah, the show was so positive. Awesome. It you know talked mm -hmm. a lot about the different social issues where a lot of sitcoms weren't doing that. You know, like skin complexion. I remember the episode on Rodney King beating the domestic violence episode where um um AJ Sanders she was getting beat by her um boyfriend. You remember all those episodes? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So and then it also yeah, showed a lot. In, you know. Of course, you know, the iconic Tupac Shakur was on there. Yes, Tupac was on there. Yeah. And that's how we met Jada Pinkett. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she had a role on there. Tisha Campbell yeah. was on there before my end, you know. I, yeah. Exactly. exactly. So it showcased black mm -hmm. women in a positive light. You know, Kim was going to be a doctor, Freddie a lawyer, Whitney was an art curator. So it was definitely a, a positive show. So I know Big that this, this, this new one is going to be great. Yeah. All right. So last story. We have to talk about the presidency, the race. Kamala Harris mm. has picked a running mate. That's right. She has picked Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz. So let's talk a little bit about him so we can get his background. So he is currently serving his second term as governor. He has a bachelor's degree in social science. He has a master's degree in educational leadership. He, pr he transitioned to politics in 2006, winning a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives for Minnesota's um, first congressional district. He served in Congress from 2007 to 2019, where he focused on veteran affairs, agriculture and infrastructure. And then, um, you know, he's been in Congress and he's been known for av advocacy for veterans and a moderate political stance. In 2018, he was elected as Minnesota's governor and he was reelected in 2022. And he's done a lot being a governor he's worked to improve public education he implemented the free breakfast and free lunch program he's into uh passing the clean energy energy um bills he's helped mm -hmm. middle class people he protects reproductive rights so and he also has enhanced health care access so okay so he she she picked the she picked a, a true guardian of the people i guess okay he seems like he I likes like the middle class like he's for the middle class <laughs> he's like um <laughs> but i could just i can just hear i can just hear the opponent saying i don't know him but i heard he's done good things but i've done better things like i lived because i, I got shot at and i lived <laughs> 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 and me living is huge <laughs> Well, we don't know his VP, his his running mate. I ain't never heard of him. Mm -hmm. Hello, but you know the thing that um that Tim uh, Walsh did that might get him some votes. He expanded voting rights in Minnesota to include fifty five thousand mm -hmm. formerly incarcerated people. That's fifty five thousand mm -hmm. votes right there for you. <laughs> Let's see. Smart Let's move, see buddy. You know, all the ladies, all the ladies want to see a lady president, but you know, there's there's so much there's so much stuff going on because you know Trump is like. I, I didn't know. I thought she was Indian, not African American. Now she's black. Oh yeah. I, you know, <laughs> when did she become so, black? He put the, so yeah, much emphasis on like, me. So, on the he's like, you're talking to me ignorant. You're talking to me ignorant. Yes. I'm alive and that's huge. She was Indian and now she's black. Black. Yeah. It's like when did, when did this happen? Did she use a crayon, make herself black. <laughs> black. Black. <laughs> Two syllables. Black. He's like she needs to go into the Olympics. Oh my goodness! Like Snoop Dogg did. So, do you think that she made a good choice? Because everybody thought she was going to pick somebody younger. Well, it's the guys. The guys, uh, you know, 
his, his track record's looking pretty clean, pretty clean, you know. So hopefully, hopefully there's no skeletons in the closet with anything, you know, because you know sometimes you find these things with politicians. Yeah. You know, oh, I just just to share something with you. Uh-huh. When I took my comedy classes, there's a lot of a lot of folks that are always like you know scared to speak before a public. Um, speak like you're scared to do public speaking mm. a lot of politicians have taken comedy classes henceforth some of them are clowns so oh. this just a little this just, just a little some just, just drop some jewels on thank it. you thank you for that nugget <laughs> i appreciate it <laughs> no doubt no sh- yeah. shine it up shine it up and love it thank love you. the nugget thank you so <laughs> no he's doubt. 60 years old i thought he was much older because i'm like we we don't need another uh 85 year old so he's uh. only 60 don't he look old for his age. Let's sleepy, I don't want to talk let's about sleepy Joe Nap. Let's sleepy Joe Nap. Leave him alone. Well, Leave him alone. Leave well, alone. I'm just saying, but he's only sixty. <laughs> he's only like a year older than her. Okay, well, that's a good thing, I guess. But well, don't look, he look older you know, than sixty? I thought he was like eighty. Listen, you got all these worries in life, and <laughs> you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying to do right. <laughs> and there's temptations are wrong, and you just like, no, I ain't gonna do that. Nope, nope, stay away from that. Nope, nope. So that aged the brother, it. temptations aged the brother. Like, That's what we like, saying. <laughs> That's what we saying now. <laughs> like dipping, diving, you got, you got, you got to dip, dodge, and dip. Keep on doing it. Okay. So he yeah. is the chairperson of the National Democratic Governors Association, and he is mm-hmm. a former National Guardsman. He was been deployed and everything. So I think he definitely gonna get the the vote of. Did the I not say she that. picked the guardian? Did I not say that before I knew that? Yeah. So <laughs> guardian, the, <laughs> the new political guardian. Yeah. So yeah, at the he's, forefront. He's definitely got the vote of the prison people and uh, of the people mm-hmm. that's in the military. So. Yeah, I know Tory Lanez is gonna vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> he doing everything else. He probably voting up in there. I'm just saying. <laughs> Everyone got... needs to vote sometimes. Yes, sir. Well, well. I don't know about you, but anything to kind. Yes, sir. We got to do. We got to do. There it is. All yeah, right. Yeah. Well, give everybody your social media information so that they can keep in touch with you. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I got. I'd be amiss if I didn't do this. So I got to do my show and Excel outro. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and citizens of all ages, I am now and forever will be glorious son, the only one, the ordinary, extraordinary, and the greatest. Boom, boom, baby, of them all. Sure, when Excel, and I'm live here with Doctor Miss Jones. Hey, and you can find me S H E R W I N X L on all platforms: Clubhouse, LinkedIn. You know, you on on Facebook, and especially hit me up on IG. You need me? I just did. I just did a wedding with Balikandas at an estate in um, Atlantic City. Just had some fun. You need me? Give a holler. Sure, when I said we'll be there, like the bat signal. Just holler at me, and I'm there. And right. Dr. Miss Jones, mm-hmm. I appreciate you for having me on your show and and i'm and i'm so happy that we did keep in touch after all these years i th- i thank you my queen of course of course now do you have any upcoming events where people can come and see you oh yes there is um an event coming up was this august 18th i'm gonna be at prospect park um and it's gonna be the family reunion um it's gonna be from 12 p.m to 5 p.m and there's going to be a dance segment from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want to come on down, come on down there to Prospect Park. Uh, it's called the Family Reunion. And Sean XL will be your host. So come on down. I love that. It's a family reunion. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. And also, um, I'm going to be, I was in a movie just recently called The Last B-Boy, where I played a Don Cornelius type character from Soul Train named Don Orpheus of Soul Power. And we're going to be at Chew the Fat on August 25th. And I believe that's going to be from 5 to, yeah, 5 to 8 p.m. I love that. All right. So Chew the Fat is, uh, what is that? That's uh, 146. That's 16 Rockaway Boulevard. Come on down and come see the people from the last B-Boy music soundtrack. Come on down and come see your boy Sherwin XI. We'll be announcing them coming up. And I'll be there with DJ Fly Girl. And chew the fat in Queens. So come on down and see this wondrous event coming up. All right. And support the female DJs. Shout out to yep, DJ yep. Fly Girl. I like that. Okay. 
Well, let's go ahead and go to the clubhouse and see if anybody mm-hmm. in the clubhouse wants to holler at your boy. So I go. see we got Solomon Pfeiffer in there. Hey, Solomon. I see up, Sanders Solomon? in there. You know, Michelle, my moderator is in the building. So if any What's y'all want to y'all wanna, uh, say anything. All right. Hey, Michelle. Hi. Hey, Michelle. What's up, girl? Hi. How are you? <laughs> I, I am. I am greater than great and hope you feel the same way. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I just want to thank you for definitely, you know, for your comedy. It's, yeah, it's at the top. You know, when he has that great cup of coffee or his favorite cup of ice, of tea, uh, don't forget the whip. Oh, don't don't forget the whip. Oh, that's right. She likes whipped cream on her. She's don't forget the whipped cream. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. I won't forget the cool whip. I'll put the cool whip on it. (laughs) Oh my goodness, my God, today. Yeah, don't forget the whip. Oh, my. Okay. Yeah, she no likes hers as dessert. I just want to say that just, you know, <laughs> shop early because uh, Dr. No, Jones no. has a tendency of, you know, buying, buying it up from the grocery store. So just make sure you get your can before she, you know, buys it all up. Thank you. <laughs> no doubt, Mama. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle, my moderator. I appreciate you. <laughs> she said, don't forget the whip. Don't forget Put the whip. Put the whip and the tea. That's right. The whip and the t- on top of the you tea. You got you to gotta, you gotta grab that whip. Yes. Na, 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 na. Grab that whip. Yes, don't forget it. Don't forget it. Forget about honey and stuff. Just put that mm-hmm. whipped cream on. You're going to get the sweetness from that. Mm-hmm. And a milky sensation. No, thank you. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Well, Sherwin, it was a pleasure cutting up with you today. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Mama. Thank you so much. All right. Um, once again, I appreciate you, and let's talk soon. Yes. Um, and and all of the listeners of Doctor Miss Jones Show, you keep on tuning into this queen. You heard? Yes. Thank and you so much. When you can. All no right, doubt, Mama. We got to work together too. Yes, ma'am. Yes. No doubt. All right. You have a blessed and wonderful day. You too, my love. Take it all easy. Right. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Uh, you know these two hours just. They just fly by. So it is time for me to shake the spot. That's right. I want to thank all of my special guests that came on today. I want to thank Elder Robin Mann for coming on and sharing the words of inspiration. I want to thank gospel recording artist MC Heaven for sharing her new music. Comedian Sherwin XL for bringing the funny and helping me spill some good old holy tea. And of course, author and playwright Yolanda Brathway for sharing her journey and also letting us know all about her new stage play tales of a grown girl if you miss any part of today's show the replay is available instantly on clubhouse i will also be posting it up on my soundcloud and on my website missjonesproductions.com on my youtube page miss jones productions make sure that you like it share and subscribe and it will live forever on iHeartRadio, google Podcasts, and amazon music all you have to do is search for the me and miss jones show well y'all you don't want to miss next week Next week, we have Pastor Julian coming on with words of inspiration. Gospel recording artist Ernest Billups, he's going to be coming on sharing his new music. And comedian Kevin Lee, he'll be sharing his journey and helping me spill some holy tea. As well as spoken word artist Zamil coming on and sharing some of his poetry. So you don't want to miss next week. I'm here every single Sunday, same time, same place, and same channel, right here on the Me and Miss Jones Show. In the meantime, in between time, please go to my website, MissJonesProductions.com. On Facebook, I'm Journalist Miss Jones. And on Instagram, I am Miss Jones Productions. And you can see where I'll be doing comedy, hosting shows, my acting, and of course, my kids' multiplication motivation music. I'm on Patreon at Miss Jones Productions. And I have a new YouTube page for my kids' music. It's called Miss Jones and the UE Family Vivo. I got a lot of events coming up this week, y'all. On Tuesday, it is National Night Out, so I will be out there covering the story for the Hudson Valley Press newspaper. It is from 5 to 8 p.m. 
Then on Friday, I will be at NFA covering covering a home ownership event. If you want to buy a house, y'all, this is the place to be. It's going to be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Go to NACA.com to register. That's N-A-C-A.com. I'm telling you that they will get you in a house. And then on Saturday, I'm hosting an ice cream crawl and trivia event. It is in Brooklyn at 1 Flatbush at 5 p.m. So it's going to be hot. Y'all come on over, get some ice or cream, and we're going to give away some prizes with some trivia. I want to thank everybody that's been in the clubhouse today. The clubhouse has been packed. Shout out to everybody that's been in there. Moms has been in there. Michelle, my moderator. I see Center is in there. I see um, all the people from Tales of a Grown Girl stage play. Sharia has been in there. David Quinones, Ty Paperwork. Uh, Bishop Kearney has been in there. Uh, my homegirl, Elnor Paul, all the way from Uganda. Um, so many people have been in there. I can't name everybody. My home, my homeboy Bernard was in there. So thank y'all so much. I always appreciate it. We're going to go on out to Marvin Sapp's song, Your Way Is Better. I have truly enjoyed being your host. I'm Dr. Miss Jones. They call me the beauty of comedy. Until next time, y'all holla and be easy. Hey, come on. Hey, uh. I will keep chasing after the Father.